Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very important topic to discuss. Unpopular opinions. What is an unpopular opinion? The Urban Dictionary defines it as this. The act of ranting about your opinion, but at the same time knowing nobody cares. I feel that. There are two kinds of unpopular opinions. You love it, nobody else does. You hate it, everybody else loves it. A part of the Determined to Rise series, I want to discover myself and be confident in myself and what I like and what I don't like. I'll go to a movie with my friends and I will be dying because I'm like, this movie is so good. And we'll leave. So what did you guys think? That movie sucked. And I'm like, yeah, it totally sucked. I really hate that I have never been confident enough in myself to be like, you know what? I freaking loved that movie. Therefore, I wanted to make this video sharing some of my unpopular opinions. I'm not a big fan of certain things that I feel like a lot of people are. I'm just gonna put this as number one just because I want to get it over with, just because I'm really scared to say this. I'm not a fan of Beyonce. I think it's a, jo a genre thing. I'm not a fan of that genre of music. I don't know her personally, but I'm sure she's a wonderful person. The next thing I'm not a big fan of is Stranger Things. I have it in my Netflix queue, but then I just end up rewatching The Office again. I think it's so hyped up that when I finally do sit down to watch it, I'll be disappointed. The next one is Game of Thrones. It's another show I have never watched. And I like action. It's not the violence why I don't want to watch Game of Thrones. It's the incest. How did a show about so much incest and so much sex and so much killing just become TV gold? The next one is Starbucks. I will be the whitest white girl. I love myself a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Their coffee sucks. Why do you taste burnt? Why do you make me feel like I have just inhaled ash? I don't understand. And when they roast their beans, <sighs> ew. If you drink black Starbucks coffee, I worry for you. Are you okay? Next up is kale. Now here's my theory. I don't think anybody likes kale. I think there's just a large portion of the population pretending. Next up, I actually don't like Snapchat. I use Snapchat for the filters. I save the picture and then I post it on Instagram. I don't understand people who have full conversations on Snapchat. It's like a inconvenient FaceTime. The next one is something that I have been feeling for quite a while and I haven't made a video about it. Okay, because it's very important to me. It's about Infinity Wars. And I feel it's been long enough that I have mourned. I haven't mourned. I'm still in denial. It's fine. If you haven't seen the movie yet, what's wrong with you? Star-Lord does something stupid. I get it. It's dumb. I stand with Star-Lord. I support him. I will. I want to hug him. Let me plead my case. If you were to have lost the love of your life, what would you do? You don't know. Exactly. If it actually happened to you, do you think you would have any control? I think what he did was stupid, and I don't like what he did, but I still stand with him. Next section is things that I like that a ton of people hate. The Hobbit trilogy. One tiny little book, and they made three movies. That's just insane. I get it. Like, I hear you. Problem is, I still love it, okay? Like, what really sold me was the behind the scenes featurettes. How everything runs, how like a set works. I fell in love and I pursued film as a career. What I learned in those classes I put into these videos. So next up I know is gonna be a topic of debate. I just know it. I really liked The Last Jedi. Oh, that's just because she ships Rey and Kylo. No. I did get a vibe in the first movie, and you did too. You just didn't want to admit it because you thought they were cousins, and oh wait, do you watch Game of Thrones? Nobody questions who Yoda's parents are. I don't know if any of you guys remember this. It was like 2014. There was a show on ABC called Selfie. It had Karen Gillan in it. It was a My Fair Lady spinoff in modern times. So she was a self-obsessed insta starlet. I loved that show. The show didn't last very long and then I think like half of its episodes didn't get aired. It was ahead of its time. In Selfie, where it's very obvious that it's kind of vapid 
and materialistic. You shouldn't want to be that way and here's how you can change and be a better person. Nobody wanted to do that because they wanted to be insta-famous, but they didn't want to admit they wanted to be insta-famous. I think cold pizza is better than hot pizza. Get you a girl who can do both. I think oatmeal raisin cookies are better than chocolate chip cookies. There, I said it. Bite me. We have a few little outdoor cats that have claimed us as their family. So we have like little tiny bowls of food out there just for them to snack on. So one night my mom goes over, turns on the light for the deck, and what's out there? A the baby possum. And my first reaction was, oh my god, it's so cute. She looked at me like, raccoons and possums are cute. And lastly, I think back to school season is the best. It's not just because I made a whole video about back to school expectations and reality, so that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, hang loose. So good. Oh my god, I wasn't even planning that. Okay. You know what? One day down the road, do a background story on Kylo Ren and rate it R. Just make it like violent and gory. And that way, kids won't have to go to it, and you will get a movie that you can love. That would be really good. Someone send this to whoever it needs to go to.